So it is common knowledge that Danielle is protective when it comes to Catherine. And ever since the beginning, he's like that. It's not something that, you know, happened overnight. And in fact, he hasn't changed. And if you ask me, I think he's really sincere about it. And it's not just a publicity stunt. You would notice in the next videos that these are videos where in the cameras are not focused on them. So meaning, he doesn't care. If there's no camera, he's still gonna be the same old protective Daniel Padilla. Like here, this is an interview of uh, their movie, upcoming movie Barcelona. And the camera was really focused on Joshua who is being interviewed about the couple. And this video was just taken by a fan who happened to notice that Catherine, I think somebody asked Catherine to sit properly and here's Danielle's reaction. <laughs> Aside from sitting properly, he even pulled down the skirt. <laughs> And see, it's, it's very normal for them. It's not like they're conscious or anything if a camera is looking at them or recording them. Then this one is also another proof that the camera is not focused on them or they're not after the publicity. Because this is after their concert. So it's obviously just a fan camera. And then look at him do that look back. I just wonder what he saw. And this is what he actually saw that made him look back. There he called her. He called her Bal. Bal. So maybe because her cleavage was uh, showing and she's sitting down, she's bending forward. So you had to tap her and just remind her that your cleavage is really showing. This time, this is a video for their usual afternoon show with Alex Gonzaga and Roby Domingo. And they're being asked to reenact their famous, their famous uh, lines in one of their movies. And DJ whispered something. You said again, DJ? He said in Tagalog, Ayusin mo muna damit mo. In English, it says, He said, Fix your blouse first. There. <laughs> so, of course, Kat got uh, interrupted. So, they did it. Take two. <laughs> and then, the famous ABS-CBN ball party. Again, there's no official camera. These are just taken by fans or by friends. So it means this is them behind the camera. He took off his jacket and obviously Katrina was wearing them. I remember one time because I saw him, I saw him wearing that uh, sleeveless. He someone was asked, uh, do you like abs? Do you want to have abs? And he answered, nah, I'm good. And honestly, guys, I don't think a Daniel Padilla would need abs to become so, I don't know. He really has this charisma where he doesn't need those abs to make him sexier or hotter. I don't know. Drop the comments if you agree with me. Next is an interview with Darla. And <laughs> just look at this face. <laughs> okay, so here Katrin said that her her glam team already knows the 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 protocol or they already know how how far that can go in terms of her clothing. And for Danielle, he he thinks it's more important that it's Katrin who knows, not just the glam team. And yep. I think Katrin is more aware now because she's the one who's taking the initiative to cover up if she doesn't feel too comfortable with how exposed her skin is. So here is one 
instance again wherein she is showing she's wearing this very very beautiful gown and it well it's a gown that's a bit showy and here is Danielle with the hair with his hair down and there's something funny that happened here look he was shaking hands one with one of the fans and then this happened wait for it there <laughs> and then he went back hey I'm missing something <laughs> So funny. <laughs> then I don't know. I think we started looking for Katrina at that time. So after after that, after the I think this is for Pangako Sayo, the promise. So after that, there's a photo op. We're in here. Katrina asked for DJ for to borrow his coat because maybe she's cold. Or maybe she needs to cover up a little because she's going to sit down. And if she's going to sit down, a lot of people would be higher than her and they would really be seeing her exposed. And DJ did something here. Very casually, very smooth. It's gonna cover up her legs. Look, did you see that? Did you see that? Let's watch that again. <laughs> so smooth. You weren't really watching, you really wouldn't notice it. So, you know, I think that's really a show of sincerity that he just does is he just find Catherine's body as sacred. And then finally, they talk about it here in their interview in the House of Us. Catherine, we've been showing a lot of skin lately. I mean, ngayon ang mas malimit lang nakikita naka short shorts, naka you know, and all those things. No? They're the good signs of uh, your growing maturity as an artist. Uh, where will this lead you? Um, that's why I take my time, Tito. Like, um, when they offer me um, projects, I think, okay, tama ba to? Kasi every time may mga in-offer or nagagawin, parate lang, um, iniisip kung makakatulong yun. Pero with regards with the clothing and all, siguro, Ayaw mo din kasi na maging parating safe, you know? Parang once in a while, kailangan mong mag, like, yung mas sexy na damit. So, <laughs> they were asking Katrin if she's comfortable with what happened in the House of Us where she showed a lot of skin. So this is a bit of a spoiler. If you haven't watched House of Us, you better watch it. You know, it's part of the storyline. So, the two of them are very open to challenges. <laughs> now, Direct Kathy was quote, uh, was joking them that this is actually her debut to become a sexy queen. And of course, DJ was laughing. <laughs> See, even Mommy Mean. Even, I think it's in the in it's in Kat's family that it's you know they're a bit conservative as well and very protective of of their them showing skin and now here Danielle explaining it yeah true Catherine is getting old and he doesn't think it's bastusen or seductive that's now let's talk about it a little. So do you think that Danielle is controlling? Well, people have a lot of uh, debate about this. Some would say, yes, he's too controlling, that Catherine does not have the freedom to wear the clothes that she wants. But you know, there are a lot of instances where Catherine is wearing sexy clothes, meaning she has this freedom of expression that you know it can expose skins it can be a long sleeve a turtleneck or she can wear tube or uh, strapless or spaghetti straps it's really just it really just depends on the how comfortable is she on the clothes and i think one of the reasons for danielle to become like that is because he knows that they are both actors artists so many people are taking candid photos of them and you never know you know these photos could go viral in a second like an exposed breast 
people make fuss of that and people will sell that on internet so maybe he's also being careful that's why he wants to protect Katrin and at the same time if you ask me you know I think Katrin and Katrin's parents value that because DJ is like an extension of them when it comes to protecting Katrin and of course it's not just DJ who's conservative just look at Katrin fixing his polo this is not supposed to show some skin as well <laughs> but there you go I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe to my channel thanks